Hello, and welcome back. Well, welcome back. Welcome to Cut Buds. Ah. <laughs> if that's a force of habit. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Um, well, I don't know. You could technically continue the series that you last had me on, and then it would be a welcome back. It would. This is, so this is technically uh, cutting with devs, but it's also Cud Buds, because I'm not playing... I got jealous. There were other buds. <laughs> there were other buds. I'm going to do this with... Uh, so many, so many, we're going to have, I'm going to have so many series with different people. It's going to be great where I don't have to play. Um, and in this case, I don't, all you have, have to, to do is all the hard video editing work. Oh God. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that I, you know, cuts both ways, I suppose. Um, so what we're doing here is it, it, I mean, this is your opportunity to watch our last series together, which was, I think two years ago now. Um, mm -hmm. sounds about right. I played Narf's uh, modded character. I mean, I'm playing with Narf. I don't even think I said that here <laughs> yet, but uh, I played with Narf's rhinoceros build, and um, it has uh, been unofficially, officially canonized in a way, um, in a few different ways, but Narf's going to be playing it. Um, it's a horns build. There's going to be some tweaks. We do have mods installed. Um, we're going to be playing also with Narf's campfire checkpoint mode which is fun. It's a fun mod that I wish I had like have an opportunity to play with, but I, I've been kind of not playing with mods recently. But yeah, we're playing with the Rhinoson... Rhinosocot? Right. Rhinosonaut. Rhino it's like Arcanaut, but Rhino? Right. 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 right to Rhinosonaut. Rhinosonaut. Yeah. Um, it's hard to type, too. There's you... like a weird OCO in the middle. It's, it's very strange. <laughs> Not for the faint of heart. So this is, um, I mean, you can download this build um, from the workshop. We are going to be making a couple of tweaks. Uh, in our form so to tweak one of the things it. about this build is I threw in adrenal control when I uploaded it. Uh, it's kind of the only uh, one that isn't core to what I consider the Rhinosonaut. So lately when I've been playing this build, I like to swap adrenal control for something else. Okay. Uh Personally, I'm feeling too headed and thick fur, but if you have another suggestion for how to spend my four points, I'm open to it. We have both uh, mental and physical mutations available to us. Mental and physical mutations. You know, I've been uh, I've been playing a lot of mental builds that also spec into physical, but I don't yet know how to build a physical mutant that specs into mental. Um, but either way, I don't know if the there's. I'm trying to think. I you know I really like regeneration. It's a good also one. Works. There's a reason I want to do two-headed, and it'll come into play a little later, I think. Oh, do you get two horns? No, actually, you get a head with which you can still wear a helmet, and this is very important. Okay. All right, I'm excited to learn this. Let's let's do it. So, uh, but then that would leave us with one point left over, which I generally like thick fur as a one-point mutation. I think it's, it's very handy. Uh, yeah. Gives you that heat and cold resist and a bunch of just starting reputation with that got, some things. Did that did that get buffed? Because I thought it was just baboons at one point. No, I think it always had a bunch. It might have gotten a little buffed. I don't know. It's hard for me to remember the history anymore. All right, this is a rhino with fur, so you're gonna have to picture that at home. Yeah, uh, and two heads. And two heads. A normal a normal human head and then a rhino head. That's the easy part. Yeah. Um. And then you what? get your own tile. You get the oh yeah the uh, uh, the tile artist Ontoclasm made a tile for this build, so it fits in quite well with the uh, the feeling. I, I, oh, think I always awesome. like to make it randomly pick me a name. Tiru M. Tiru M. Let's go with Tiru M. We'll be uh, still non-specific. They them. Solid. Uh, got to do the job to start. I was actually gonna suggest that we could do a random, but. Yeah, we I could. I, like I, I, I was reading this take the other day. This like I don't, I can't stand doing the Jopa arc anymore because it's just like I'm like I, I, I can't not honestly hated by the Pewtis Templar. Whoa, what? Yeah, right. Like we're getting off to a good start here. <laughs> Mimit, Mimit hates the right kind of people. <laughs> oh, I can't remember mm. what I, I, I had a. Oh, that's right. I was, I was um recording for. I always got to kill the zealot. Um, yeah. I was recording the tutorial video and i can't remember what i spawned in order to try oh yeah i was like trying to like spawn in just basic items and ingredients and stuff and i accidentally sp spawned in like uh a, a spider or something and mehmet just went ape shit 
on it, and I always, I always forget how actually crazy powerful Mehmet is. So we have made uh, harder enemies with Gersh. Oh, oh, go folk. Goat folk. I don't yeah. know if I would have made that trade. Dang. I always. I mean, I got the horn. So it, the way I saw it is it kind of offset it because of the horns. The, the, Kaya, the, the horns. Kaya Kukaya will eventually like me anyway, so we'll take a little bit of hit with them. The horns gives you goat folk reputation? Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, antelope and goat folk. Oh, and uh, does that scale? No. Oh. Might as well eat some food while we're here. Uh, let's yeah. see what they got in their boxes. I've th I've actually been forgetting to do this. Or just go around and rob Jopa. I usually don't, like, completely rob them. Just take anything, like, really important. <laughs> <laughs> just Just take their most valuable goods, you know, like... Like that copper nugget. Yeah, but well, you wouldn't you wouldn't take the beaded bracelet. No, nah, dude, he can have his bracelet. All right. Small gotta, cobalt tube though. That might. I mean, be I'll like, use it. He won't. That might be their like penicillin or something. I'll use it. He won't. All right. Take a seat on the chair. Most important. That's like their insulin. You just robbed them of blood and fear. I still have to. I want to do a series where I just read through all the books. Read all the yellow books. Yeah, yeah. it would be pretty fun. Oh God, Ixer Mass. Right. Ixermasp the fourth. One auspicious day, a babe was found swaddled with forgotten seconds of one's life on its eyes by the group of succulent in scientist district of Tarad. They took him into their fold and fostered him, and he became known as Ixermasp the fourth, perpetual sprout of succulents. I like perpetual sprout of succulents. That's it's a cool. Uh, it's definitely a cool uh, moniker. No interesting loot other than that uh thing. We got some grenades, I'm sure. Oh, you've got um, you've got some good artifacts. You throw yeah, away. you got a fungicide Argive. and a freeze grenade. That's what it was for so Argive. Someone was complaining about having to give up two artifacts. I'm like, oh wow, nice. Oh, it was Blaze. Yeah. Early, early Blaze. I'm oh, fine. uh, did I turn my auto explorer down? Or do you want to go zoom? Um, <laughs> let's go zoom. Why not? Let's go zoom. Yeah. All right. Show the world how show the world how I managed to play this game. I'm gonna I'm uh, gonna put a small warning, uh, epilepsy warning on this on this uh, yeah. because it's gonna be fast and that's not a joke. I've played it fast. It's gonna and... start out a little slow, but actually, I'm gonna give them two freezes. What? You keep the fungicide? Yeah, in, just in the event that we find ourselves in a fungus jungle, red rock, it could be nice. So we've got two hearted, two headed. Yeah, so two-hearted, triple-jointed, double-muscled. All three of these are the ones that add stats. To agility, uh, to toughness, to strength, right? Uh, the first point I always put in triple-jointed, and it's because of a certain strat that I like. Um, the other thing, though, is we have irritable genome, so we only get to pick every other point. And the trick with this build is that you only have mutations that you want to level. Okay, right. Right? Well, that's that's going to be difficult to manage because you've got so many mutations now that they they're going to and they're all being average. Well, thick fur can't level. Right. Right. And if you think about it, the maximum mutation level is like half your character level. Right. Right. So I get to keep one mutation maxed and it's going to be the horn. Spoiler. We right. started out in triple jointed, but it's because for a couple of reasons Getting the early uh, agility makes getting some other things much quicker. Oh, uh, let me actually. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna crack me up like every time. Oh right, yeah. This is also something I um you may have told me this actually uh, already, but I forgot um that you can rob. Not it's not technically robbing Argive, but he. Uh... Yeah, his chests just become available for you to open after you complete his. Turning in the artifacts quest. My temptation is if I don't know something, I always wonder if it, if it's new lore, <laughs> new canon. But uh, that's just my my hubris showing at this point. So we're taking the the Jopa crack to the, uh, to Red Rock. The underground cavern is my usual plan. It's a good this one is ground. quite wide open, however, and it scares the shit out of me. This uh, might be a quick restart. Are we not? A, we're, oh, right. Well, why don't we... Um, well, I mean, we do have... Set your first campfire. We could... Yeah, yeah. we could always set a checkpoint here. No I kind of uh, like that. It's pretty cool. 
uh, get rid of that ivory. Galen has has uh, forever corrupted my brain. I, I can no longer see the rocks as anything but croissants. <laughs> nice, Our first level up. Doop -a doop -a doo, zoom zoom. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, seed. It was seed. a lucky yeah. seed. Are those new sound effects for seeds or? I don't know. I really don't know. I uh, I really like the new dogs uh, and me versus bear. <laughs> That's how. Go. Who tail, got the kill? Tail I did. Is cool. old as time. Ooh. Uh, that guy kind of hurts. It hurt. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. To, nothing to worry about. I like the new uh, deflected animation. Like when you fail to pin their AV. Yeah. It's really nice. Brian's been having a lot of good ideas for this. Would just be a really nice little animation that we could add that would be very nice. I submitted, right. um, oh, go. Cool. Yeah, what, what are we adding? Uh, Still triple jointed or horns? Gotta do, gotta do some math. Okay. I always, I always end up having to do this math every time I play this uh, build. But, so, it's gonna be, what am I looking for? Oh, it's in daggers. Short blade. Uh, 25 agility is our goal. Okay. And it looks like it raised our two-hearted. So, if we do triple jointed, this will get us to 23 agility. We have our one point from level four that gets us to 24 agility. And then the next point will get us 25. Uh, okay. And then we'll want 250 skill points available. So we got to keep all that in mind. In the meantime, we're just going to grab tactics because uh, that will be fine. Oh, hey, a carbide dagger. Nice first. That's, uh, uh, also, that worn burn isn't yeah. uh, bad either. Extra DV on this kind of build is actually quite nice. All right, we have explored level two. I generally try to take my first few steps uh, manually on levels this early, uh, just because there are a lot of threats that can kill an early character down here. This is very much uh, a trial by fire. fire yeah, out. Ixer Mosp the third now. Uh, in 4414 before Reshef, Ixermasp III won a decisive victory against the combined forces of Mipper at the bloody Battle of the Shikish Tangle. As a result of the battle, Sikish Tangle was so rife with bad omens, it was renamed Random Decay. There's a town called Random Decay in this? That's awesome. Let's go to Mipir. Uh, chameleons Ooh. can actually be a little tough. Oh, I was, uh, I was a bit... Ooh! Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Okay, they fought it out. And you got both XP. <laughs> well, I, I had bled them both. Right. I am, uh, I'm always a little bit, um, afraid of anything electrical early game, because that initial jolt can really yep. nuke you. Before you've gotten a lot of levels worth of XP. Yeah. Or HP, rather. XP to get the HP. Might as well be the Dark Souls of video gaming set our checkpoint there heck yeah nice all right so... all right so we're definitely using horns for our rapid right but you don't have that 25 agility yet so i assume that's like the next level yep we've got a friend trying to help with some arrows over there but <laughs> oh it's I, a snap uh, jaw i really love the little uh twang of the arrows yeah like it's when they land pretty cool another electrofuge could be spooky He's uh, he's just waiting. Yep. <clears throat> Caves of Cut standoff. Wow. He really waited for his window there. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I'm just hitting five here very slowly, waiting for that snap jaw to find his way over to me. <laughs> uh, oh, Ixermosp the first. This is like the family of Ixermosp. Uh, in 5684, Ixermosp won a decisive victory against the combined forces of the Winter's Eremites districts of Travazor at the bloody Battle of Old Noir, though she lost her prized Friend of Glacier during the course of the conflict. As a result of the battle, Old Noir was so rife with burnt books and corroded data disks, it was renamed the Inquisitive Quagmire. I'm very slowly learning what some of that language means. Is that, is that hinting that her friend was maybe a book? The uh, I have the, no idea. Yeah. I know there's like some advanced tactics to maybe Whoa. learning that Ixermosp the fifth now oh my god one starry evening a soldier found a babe with a mighty helmet in each hand outside his outpost <laughs> he and his fellow soldiers adopted the babe and named him Ixermosp the fifth apparently the kith of the mirror caller is going to be Ixermosp the fifth i like the idea of someone just wielding two helmets yeah just like punching with oh them. i haven't been looking 
I, I always forget to do this early game. I, I need to like pay attention after I kill something to see if it had any good loot. Uh, well, like you don't have, you can't wear a helmet, right? Or can you? No, we can now. All oh, right, we can. But doesn't that it was get the whole point down? of taking uh, the helmet? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, get, it's all gonna get averaged down. Sure. But I suppose if you find even like two D, two AV or two a DV, it'll still benefit you. I mean, it it's already getting averaged because I have two heads. Right? Oh right, right, right. Right, I forgot that Horns provides one AV. Is that does that scale? It actually provides two, and it does scale. Yes. Oh my God, Horns are great. Yeah, they are. They're a little broken. <laughs> but also, you gotta invest in them really hard. And as we all know, late game, it doesn't matter how good your melee is. There, there's other things you need to be able to do. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things you don't want to stand next to, no matter what. Oh, I wonder if we have leather boots yet. I don't think. So. I don't think we do. Also, um, I know that you did, um, one of the things you read was a shawl or some kind of thing that was could have provided some DV, but it's... I, I have no idea where that is anymore. We'll go find it, it's maybe. It's one of the various corpses. Oh, we got a sooty smock. Yeah, that's 2 DV, but what am I wearing? You're wearing a pocketed vest. Oh, yeah, sure. Really, I'm looking for that uh, leather armor, you know? Yeah. Engraved, oh, an engraved weird. weird artifact. Thank you. Oh, Reshef. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just skip past the Reshef lore. I didn't mean to, but uh, I generally do anyway, just because it's kind of the spoilery lore. So a lot of times when I'm streaming, I'll just uh, blow past it. I never actually considered that. That's interesting. Because the Reshef lore is always the same, right? So it's the lore you could discover for yourself. So I don't want to take that from you. Ooh, that's a lot of beetles. It is a lot of beetles. I can't remember yeah. if, uh, I don't know if, like, beetles are worse than centipedes in terms of, like, the common. They're about insects. the same. Wonder if w one day we'll have salt hopper nests and then All right. it'll be a nightmare. We hit level six. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Rejoiner. So once per turn, when an opponent misses us with a melee attack, there's a 40% chance we make a free attack. So we will auto magically start hitting our friend or uh people that are attacking us nice uh, and um i mean i've i've been doing some uh smack talk on dv lately but this this is the build to to like double triple down on dv considering what to do with the uh oh we never bought tactics i must have hit escape accidentally last time we were down here no uh, penalty to right to dashing or uh yeah, when sprinting, no DV penalty. I always forget there is a DV penalty to, to um, sprinting. Yep. And also, I like picking up jump, though. You know, we could hold out hopes to run into a frog. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've been holding out hopes for that for about five to six hundred hours of <laughs> this game. I I don't even know where I'm supposed to it's be that, looking. It's that kind of, uh, eh, we'll do it. Won't be long before we're on the world map. <laughs> Okay, those two are just fighting. They are not friends to one another. Oof. What is going on over there? I don't know. I'm going to let them fight it out, though. Kill these spiders because <laughs> Auto Explorer really wants me to. I really uh, appreciate the Doppler effect we got go you got going on in uh, Cud now. It's just yeah. like the sounds of carnage, and then it just gets quieter. <laughs> what was that? Boomerose. Yeah, it was a Boomerose arrow. Dang. Oh, I love, I love, I have, that's the first time I've seen the animation for Boomeros. They've got like an extra step animation going on. Yeah, it like does that, then booms. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of impressive to, like, I mean, it's really impressive that all of these animations, uh, like, are, are being crammed into cut and it still doesn't feel slow. Like, it's not slowing the game down at all. Well, I mean, this isn't that hard to render. Well, and that's no, I, I mean more like, uh, you know, I've played traditional roguelikes that have a lot of animations and it can feel like it just like literally slows the game down um, in that you have to watch an animation like every time. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Like it won't let you cancel the animation. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, yeah. So we learned, we've learned that over time. It has not always been that way. There used to be times where like, Bethesda Souza was like the worst place to be because there was so much gas on the screen and the animations would just kill you performance wise. 
Right, because it would like always pour into or the like chat. twenty people shooting arrows at you became like the longest combat turn ever. But we've gotten a little smarter about how we buffer those things. Oh, hey, we found a shrine to Ixermosp the fifth somewhere in the scientist district of Uruk. Ixermosp the fifth had a dream that he was glass blowing for the rest of Ixermosp the fifth's life. He always kept some prisms hidden on his person. Prisms are good. Prisms are generally means that they are interested in floating nearby. Oh. Do you know about this? What's this? So if you look at a thing, right? right. You can hit W to auto walk to said square. Oh, I usually just click. Ah, yeah, yeah. Click works too, but you know, and what's going on here? Not a whole lot. How am I supposed to get north? Interesting. We'll have to submit this part of the video to Brian as a, uh... <laughs> Well, okay, Luckily, I have auto attack nearest, so we can just hang out here while I bang my head against this wall until it breaks down. Well, is that where the river is leading to? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I'm five. I'm five deep. That's what happened. Oh, well, too deep. Hold on. I can go up. There we go. We went too deep. We may have missed the caver corpse. Uh, Something is shooting you. Flash of yeah, neon. Yeah, no, there's flash of neon. So we're gonna come down here. This flash of neon. That's a glow moth. Huh. I guess I'm not used to that sound effect for uh, glow moth sound effects. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dang. Uh, glow moth did I buy deep. jump? I don't think you did. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I think we got him. Yeah, we did. Cool. There's something about that sound effect that really gets me. You know, we're we're getting uh, we got a little uh, I'm not used to playing with checkpointing, but I forgot that I could do that, so I'm gonna do that there before we get a little uh overconfident and start uh meleeing glow moths on the stairs there's oh another, yeah cool that's a glow moth yeah but it. he's fighting the he's it? totally got blasted by the whatever uh kindle thumbed legendary oh it's a oh it's a legendary um disliked by birds nice he's good he, he's dead oh he died ah, what killed him died died to his own steam i think oh what a way to go <laughs> Rip my reputation with birds. Galen's been uh, putting a lot of time into gaining rep with birds, but I have mostly, I undervalue it, I think. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do with it because I have never met too many legendary birds. Uh, dong gliders are birds. All right. Ixermos the second, uh, but they're also unshelled reptiles, so you need both. Uh, waist deep in a lake of iron, Ixermos the second cemented her friendship with antelopes by marrying Nuku Nuku Jigu Nakaga. I, I almost got through that one. In celebration of the ceremony, the antelopes bestowed upon Ixermas the second wedding gift they called Delighticus Antelope's Favor. I'm gonna get some uh, p potential grazing hedonist uh, or antelope reputation. Well, I already have some because of my. Uh, oh, horn. right. I'm gonna get on really good terms with, with the uh, we antelopes. We could try. So we're kind of at the point now that we can just sort of auto explore bully and like really the only thing we're afraid of is a glow moth or a pig. Slug snout, yeah. Uh, let me let me head over here and we might as well clear the way back to Joppa just so we know. Was this is this the? I think this is the one directly under Joppa. Well, yeah, yeah. We would not have all that explored if it wasn't. Did we miss the corpse? No, we hadn't even gotten like oh, two no screens yet. Right, we're not even over there yet. Something. So this is just a combination. I don't know if you've talked about. Ooh, I don't know if you've talked about this tech before, but uh, the auto explore and auto attack nearest and melee combination. I haven't. I do want to at some point do a video of like convenient shortcuts that I use, and then also do like a um, like a poster. Something on my on the horizon, just like all the all of the keybinds and which ones I tend to use. Oof, that sucks. Wait, they cracked your horns. I didn't even know that could happen. <laughs> I was kind of waiting for that one threat to bleed out before I got stupid in plan. it again. Ow. <clears throat> yeah. I guess you double down because once they've spent their quills, they're done. But yep. OK, he wasn't going to hit me that hard again. Oh, oh the slug snout caught me. Though. Uh. Bummer. Hold on, didn't we? Could have sworn we checkpointed after that, but maybe we didn't. 
the the dreaded slug snout you can't yeah see i was see i was just saying like basically the only thing that's gonna get us is a is a slug snout or uh oh uh lucky lovers blossom though yeah like i i even when i'm like level 20 to 30 i never pass up a chance to kill a jilted lover yeah, yeah. i mean it it is free ow yeah that that particular guy had it. Oh, we get another chance to find Ruhu, whatever his name was. Uh oh. Uh, flash of neon, right? Oh, that's right. Your legendary that died to their own steam. Yeah. Combusted themselves. Mm. I don't know if it's intended to see arrows that are being shot in the dark, like where you can't see. But I like to think that it's like it, you're not really seeing them; you're hearing them. Yeah. Well. It only tells you about ones that you're aware of, but also Brian hasn't really done anything about that yet. Oh, we should have checked just to make sure, but it should be the same yet. Yeah. I only once became on good terms with Snapjaws, and that friendship ended almost immediately because they really do like to make enemies to, like, all your favorite people. Yeah. It's, um, it's really, it's really rough for Snapjaws. Well, it's because they have it, uh, they have a really high chance of being hated, just in general, so... Like, you're more likely to run into snap jaws that uh, give you reputation if you killed them than you are. Oops. What? Why did I do that? Oops. We got I, salty, I was trying salty to set, water. Yeah. Let's uh, pour out that salty ore. I'm going to pour it all on myself. There you go. Just had to take a salt bath there. You're a little, you're, we are a little salty after that slug snout death. Yeah. No, I haven't really um, talked much like control tech, but... Um... I do have the um, attack nearest, and I, I abuse it a lot. <laughs> especially, especially when it's like there's a screen with a bunch of enemies I know I can kill. I just hold the button down. Yeah, it's, it's just... pretty nice for that. All right. See, I actually... The thing that's interesting for me is that it's actually kind of like a sad thing to be like, oh, but <laughs> uh, but I died. I should start again. That That run wasn't blessed, you know? Yeah. But if I thought, if I personally thought like that, uh, none of yeah. my runs would be blessed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this time we're just staying on the bottom edge of the map and we're going to duck down anytime our HP runs low. That's a perfect little hidey hole. I, I'd be tempted to like break it further. This is better. Oh, wow. That is nice, actually. Jilted Lover and their crits. They, they really do crit. Wow. That's a amazing little. Oh, I was realizing. Can we take charge? Like, just like right yeah. now? Yeah. Uh, just short. Well, you might not die. A j jump will get me to him in one turn. We'll do that. I'd be tempted to, like, which would bark now so you can tank a hit. Oh, yeah, you did want to take jump. You're going to teach me jump tax because I, I, this is something I generally don't use. Nice. It works. Oh, we have, like, a whole bunch of mutation points. So can we raise horn yet? Yes, we can. We can't raise it again yet. I think we need to be level nine. So, do you so just, we like, might as well, wait, or yeah, we might as well wait until level nine. Or if like we really wanted to, we could take. But like double muscle isn't at the break point where it gives me another plus one yet, so it's not really worth taking. Uh, so you know you what just, I'm saying? Like, wait for it to get. Yeah, I'll just point. get the next level so that I can put it in horn. But like, w would you wait for double muscle to get a point randomly? Yeah, variable? probably. Gotcha. And then and then I would consider putting a point into it early, but. The other thing is, you remember, we don't get to choose where we spend the next one, so, like, that could come in handy. All right, so we're going to be wandering around in hills and mountains. Wow, you've done and, something I would, I'll never do. Uh, marshes, basically, right off the bat. What's that? I, um, okay, so here's, here's uh, the scoop. I know this is suboptimal play, but I refuse to change. Uh, I will never take wilderness canyons. Um, reason being is because by the time I do any exploring in the canyons, they're, they don't have anything to offer me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I just... mean, every little camp you run into is a secret you can sell someone. So if you're going to spend any time walking over a tile in the world map, and like, I know we're going to do a lot of world map travel as soon as we're done with this. It's just generally... It's, I know it's suboptimal optimal because, like, I know there's a ton of, like, probably villages I'm missing out on that I have less chances of finding. Um, workshops. Like, there's a lot of good stuff that I'm probably not I finding. usually take it just because I really hate getting lost. 
Uh, yeah, same. And that's why I get lost in the canyons a lot. There's your cave oh, hey. herbs. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's right there. Rarely is it does it make itself so obvious. We could actually wear the miner's helmet. Yeah, I could. It's a shitty light though. It is it a is shitty a helmet light. though. Does your second does, does our second head have a separate name? Uh I don't remember if cuz I know if like a creature spawns two-headed, it gets a chance to have two names. Right. But I don't think that it does that for the player. All right, so I really like intelligence because I like tinkering and we won't get free intelligence. So uh, that's where I'm going to put this point. Makes sense. That's right. You're getting, uh, you're getting strength, agility, and toughness. You're getting all three from your mutation. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we can't actually raise horns until the level after this one. So we might as well spend this point on one of these. It doesn't really matter which one. Well, you get to put, uh, you could throw both in double muscled and then it would break. But, yeah, it's possible that I could hit the second and one of the others, and it would also hit another breakpoint, right? Yeah. Um. But, yeah, we ended up with two-hearted. That's cool. We can sprint longer. Oh, that's right. It it throws... Right. I, I see yeah. this. I see mutation points, too, and I think you can spend them, but it's actually going to spend the second one. It it spends the second one, yeah. Uh. So, okay. Uh. Let's just get this out of the way. That always annoys me when I forget to take it early. As soon as you kill that bout, why don't we end the episode as well? Oh yeah, uh, let's uh, let's find some place a little, After go on a little bit of a rampage, yeah, hang some, out with this violence. beetle, uh, eat a meal. That's a good place to take a break. Well, let's set the checkpoint first, and then we'll uh, whip up a meal. We got our pinch of brine, dram of drogthorn, blade of grass, and a sprinkle of dismembered brine. I don't know how we managed that. We cut limbs off of a brine beast i guess you just i brine is in like the stock or like so like just like a liquid it, i it guess was, it could be like part of a brine stock sure like to me brine is like the salty yeah effluent so right water purification process my 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 guy is uh got a credit card and a table with some uh with some with some sugary this is basically all salt Right, <laughs> and some dog thorn. <laughs> yeah, that's like a that's a lemon grass shot is what that is. We were looking for a break spot though, so yeah, yeah. So uh, if you are enjoying the series at home, then definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and we'll see you guys next time. Next time.